Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome, welcome back to another little unboxing preview type of deal. I'm, of course, your wonderful host, Troy, and I am here to unbox something that came out today. Something I'm pretty excited for. Something that I'm interested to see what all going to come in. And, of course, that little thing is the deluxe edition of Kingdom Hearts 3 over on the PS4. But that's not all we're going to be looking at. Because, not not promotion at all, nothing of the sort, but if you did pre-order at GameStop, yeah, I, I know. You also get another little, like, postal thingy, uh, fabric postal thing. So, we're gonna be unboxing these two things, and let's see what is in the collection. And is it worth the $86 price tag after taxes, at least in North America? Let's see, everybody. Okay, let's start off by looking at the postal because I have no idea technically what the postal is going to be other than it's fabric and from the way it's seeming, it seems like it's actually going to be a pretty good side postal because it's like rolled over multiple times here. So, let's go ahead, look at this bad boy open and let's see what we're getting into, shall we? Oh my god, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, this thing is huge. This thing is actually pretty huge. Oh god, it's like a full on like giant walkwo thingy that I don't even know if I can get it all flame, but what we got I think eh, I can kind of see through it so we got Donald Goofy and Sora Hill and as we go down we go down into look like from what I can tell from looking through it is some Kingdom Hearts 3 logo with a quote Woody from Toy Story Hill and I haven't been paying much attention too much of the Kingdom Hearts stuff here. Obviously, from what I have, it seems like Pixar is going to be a big deal. So I'm guessing... I'm guessing Toy Story is kind of the character to go with, huh? Uh, but yeah, here it is. Actually, like, like I said, it's actually a really, really big poster. It's, but yeah, not bad. I'm, a, I'm actually I'm actually quite happy uh, with this. Since, like I said, it was just something they were giving out for pre-ordering at GameStop. Yeah, which, I, I know. to be honest, was pretty much... Of the main reason why I ended up pre-ordering it out. But yeah, I was honestly expecting it to be more tiny. Let's go ahead and get into the main event and probably why you're watching that video to see what is the quality of the AC collection. Sent by the box, it seems like we're gonna get what? Some art books, collectible pen, oh, the steel book case as well. And a whole bunch of other knit -nat. Oh, well, that, I get that point why the box is so big. So let's go ahead get this third boy open because honestly from the box itself I don't know if it's just my copy it always starting to try it pop open I don't know that because it's a lot of stuff in here or once again in my copy but not great okay here we oh wow something I did not realize why it was in the packaging okay not so much the top the actual like logo on the front is actually kind of cockade a little bit or popping out what was the white torn of phrase is for this but either way it had texture to it I was not affecting that I thought I thought it was just shiny texture since it actually is kind of as you move it, it actually kind of fockly uh but no it actually do have some texture to it so let's see what all we got in here shall we so fourth thing out of the way we do have the copy of the game itself physical so that is there we also have the steel book which eh, seems like pretty much the same as any steel book kill and also about as hard to open it so it looked like on the inside we do have as i try not to get a reflection of my queens we actually do got some design in it personally i like the design inside of the case way more than the outside and outside pretty much with the plain like mickey like mickey and kingdom hall i actually do have all the from all the different organizations and spin off enemies and stop a gangle you, you, you know the routine heal uh and then of course down and very small it actually do have just the kingdom heart logo right down now personally i'm not a, i'm not a huge fan of like the style uh mainly because of, like i will have like a giant logo at best uh, instead of a tiny one, and of course we do have Kingdom Hearts on the side as well with every single symbol going from the top to the bottom. So, yeah, not exactly my cup of tea, but, you know, whatever. Uh, it is still okay for anyone that do appreciate steel books. And then we, of course, we have an art book, which, honestly, uh, I don't, I don't know. Like, from the way they're feeling, I don't usually, I don't usually like these types of art books just because of, like, the type of... 
I get cobbled at you? Maybe the type of glue. For like a whole bunch of old art books I have had, I have had like a horrible appearance with like the pages actually whipping out. But yeah, nonetheless, it actually do got original artwork on the front and then some original artwork on the back as well. Personally, I kind of like the back artwork a little bit more there with Evil Asura. I get go to some of the stuff in the art book here. It look like we have, yeah, Metro from the director of the game. We also have, oh man, this is neat. We actually have a proper timeline breakdown of all the games. Let's see, with Kingdom Hall, let's see, Back Cover, United X uh, Chronicles, and then we start getting into Keyboy War, Kingdom Hall, or by Sleep Kingdom Hearts, and Kingdom Hearts 1, oh no, 352 days. A uh, Chain of Memory, oh wow, so Chain of Memory actually do indeed overlap with over two days. But yeah, that, that is nice how it's actually giving a breakdown for anyone that I guess want to know what order to play them in but yeah normal character designs and poses like some cutscene stuff which may or may not be four looks uh and then we don't get into some like outfit stuff it looked like yeah like showing all the outfit simple some heartlet designs as well we do have some keyplay design which honestly at night for any out impulse out there that want to do the cop playing stuff oh wow we actually got multiple pages of keyblades and wands like eh, so so and it does look like actually it might it might it actually might be a better quality now with affecting here because it actually looked like not glued to the actual cardboard. It looked like glued to like the full front and back cover. So we might not have a thought so scenario where the book start falling apart. Hopefully that won't be the case. And getting into the other, which I believe is the last main thing of the collection, uh, which is a Kingdom Heart 3 saw a pen with the clown as i try to figure out once again how to show this so yeah that is everything uh, you get in that collection i believe it retail for 79.99 uh i do know with taxes around here with roughly about 86 bucks for the collection honestly i don't uh i i get maybe the extra 20 bucks for the art book and the pen and i get depending on your opinion of deal books maybe you want the money yeah, I'm, I'm posting on the so-so front myself, but let me know in the comment. Did you pick it up? Who am I kidding? You're watching that video. You probably ended up picking up or going to. Either way, let me know in the comment what you guys think of the collection. Did you get it? And how much you loving Kingdom Hearts? And of course, I've been your wonderful host, Troy. I will be back later in a net video showing off some other stuff, playing some other stuff, all sorts of good stuff. So that's probably a good time for you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And make sure you do like, favor, subscribe, do the sharing, do what you do. And come on over to twitch.tv slash Pony Show where I will be playing Kingdom Hearts 3 in entirety over there. Links are in the description. So, tune that time. You all have a wonderful evening, lunch, lunch, dinner, whatever it might be for you. And I will catch you in the next video. So tune in. Have a good one, guys.